three things from a man which make me interesting. All right, please sit down. Thank you. I want you to pay attention, and all the viewers around the world, the friends of this bachelors, the friends of Christina. Now we have all the six bachelors in your back right now, behind you. I think they are all great. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I'm so grateful for being here today. Thank you so much, Mr. Spider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and I hope that we will have a nice time together today. Okay, I hope so. Yes. All right, but hold your thoughts there because the competition is just getting started. Right? Okay. okay, so audience, I want you to pay attention. And all the viewers around the world, the friends of this bachelors, the friends of Christina, I hope that our goal today is to find the perfect match. So let's get this love search started. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so probably let's try to play it a little cool today. All right? So. Let's take it a little bit easier. So what do you want them to do first, Christina? Mm, because it's the first round, so I think it will be very simple. Uh -huh. uh, I just want them to resent themselves mm -hmm. by telling me uh, what their personalities, what their interests, hobbies, and how they see themselves in the future. Wow, it's like a one-minute uh, <laughs> impression, right? Yes, a, like a shark. <laughs> you want to have your dream job and you have to impress the employer for one minute. <laughs> okay, well, I like that. Okay, so let's see. Oh, so, gentlemen, Christina wants you guys to present yourself in one minute talking about your interests and hobbies. Okay, are you ready? All right, so I will control uh, who's going to go first today, Christina. Okay. Right. So first, we want to listen from Leonardo DiCaprio. He is bachelor number four. That's Leonardo. Huh? Leonardo. Yeah. Hello, Christina. Uh, actually, I see myself as a introvert. I'm not really a uh, talkative guy and I will be reading book. So if you want to have some peaceful time and hard time with an insightful guy, you can choose me. Yeah. Yeah. And more than that, I think this is take a little time to get more about me. Mysterious. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> All right, don't, don't worry. worry. It's, it's just, just the first, first impression. impression. Okay. okay. All, right, All right, now, now let's, let's call on our, our second bachelor. bachelor. Let's, let's uh, have bachelor, bachelor number five, five. Thomas, Thomas Shelby. Shelby. Thomas Shelby, you can call me Thomas. I'm a sociable person and I'm a funny man, but also um, sometimes I'm quite quiet. Mm, but no worry about it. Um, I can make you laugh every day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm um, just reading books. Sometimes I'm playing football. All of my time I'm spending for football. So if you pick me, I can get you some game, football game football too. Game? Yeah, <laughs> if you if you love it. You mean in mobile phone? No, I play in outside. <laughs> left. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I, I feel That's like I'm so looking at uh, uh, two people dating already. <laughs> okay, changing sweet nothing. Thank you so much, uh, Thomas Shelby. Thank you. Yes. Okay, that's cool. That's the good thing about it. You're enjoying. And let's move on to our bachelor number five. His name is Tom Hardy. So, um, hello everybody and hello Christina. Uh, I am. I am an introvert and I am a quite caring person and my, my hobby is um, playing guitar and especially cutting hair. Mm -hmm. So um, in the future I hope that I can establish my own 
barber shop and then and I hope in the future I can cut your hair and make you even more beautiful than <laughs> oh, now. Okay. You also cut hair for a girl? Yes, I can. Oh my god. Oh. So, so I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> Free from me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank wow. You. All right. So everybody is on their game right now. Okay. One offered a football game. One offered a free haircut. Haircut thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can save a lot of money. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Next one. Let's move on to our first bachelor, Johnny Depp. Hello, Christina. I don't think Masao is a very positive person and also very funny man. And my hobby is playing soccer every every time I get bored. And every time I get stressed or bored, I will find to soccer. And you don't have to worry about me cheating on you, cause only I cause I only love you in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, thank uh, you. I think I'm begin. I'm learning from this boy. Okay, yeah. I think I'm gonna use those punch punch lines. Yeah. Okay. What did he say? Don't worry about uh, cheating. cheating. Okay, yeah. because he only loves you and the ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job, man. All right. Okay. <sighs> Let's move on. Yeah. What number are we now? Four. Um, Fifth. Okay. Well, okay. let's move on to number two. We have bachelor number two, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran is my favorite singer. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, Christina, uh, about me, I don't think I have some exact hobby because I'm, at some point, I'm being very active. And the advantage of that is I'm going to have a lot of energy to try new stuff. I, I like new stuff. I try a lot of stuff. Like, I, I'm not the best, but I do know about it. Okay. The guitar, the stuff, yeah. You want to know more? So yeah. we are definitely going to have a lot of comments. Okay. Oh, you ever try a carefree guy, huh? Yeah, yeah I do. I'm actually, I'm, I really like it. Yeah. I'm really good at it. So we can do together. After yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> okay, thank you. Are you telling me you're picking him already? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I know you're trying to make a connection. Yeah. All right. So last but not the least, we still have one, right? Okay. And he is bachelor number three. Okay. And let's welcome Patrick Otis. Hello, Bachi. I live in Bienhua City with my family and uh, my current occupation is a student and I'm studying foreign language. My favorite sports are swimming and playing soccer and uh, I am an ambitious and generous and thoughtful man. I'm eager to learn the new things and um, I'm so and I also a sociable person. Uh, so that I can uh, easily adapt and connect with the community. And my dream job is to become an entrepreneur, a successful businessman. Okay. Yeah. That's all. Okay. I see that you wear any glasses. Yes, I see. The same, me the same. But, but you don't wear the glasses today. Yeah, because today I want to be gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know how to connect with men. <laughs> and I think you are getting their, their attention as well. Yeah. Well, but I know you are very friendly. Okay. And that's the reason why I think you deserve to be on this seat today with this uh, equally handsome and uh, gorgeous gentleman. So, we already hear them with their self-introductions. Well, I know it's kind of early to say, but uh, who is the one who imp you are impressed the most based on the introduction. It's, it's just round one. Inspire. I think it's a secret. Ah, it's a secret. Okay. All right. Okay. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pry you now. All right. Okay. So, let's move on. But how do you feel? I feel mm, so great because uh, they have a lot of common with me. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. But remember. Your job today is like a little bit more difficult. So, let's move on to round, round two. two. Round two. Okay. Round two is probably let's try to make it a little bit more exciting. Okay. 
probably a little bit more of content that you can know them better okay when you are together so what do you want to ask them mm -hmm. okay let me think okay mm. um, <laughs> um, I think that uh, okay this is a question for all of you mm -hmm. um, if I choose you today so where will you bring me <laughs> on our first date oh. and, and tell me tell me the reason <laughs> okay hmm all right i anticipated this question i heard this question before but it's a good thing you asked okay so where boys where would you bring christina on your first date okay well i think there's a lot of ideas of first date but let's see who will match her Alright, so first, let's call on Johnny Depp to be the first one. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> okay, so if on the first day, I think I will take you to uh, a movie theater. And we can get some couple seats, sit next to each other to, you know, close a little bit. Uh, and you can, we can, you know, hold hands and I can, we'll let you... <laughs> Uh, lay your head on my shoulder. Ooh. Oh, and and be sure you're not eating anything before you go with me, because I will take you around Saigon oh. to uh, eat some uh, Vietnamese street food. Yeah. So wow. interesting. <laughs> okay, thank you, Johnny. It's very simple, I guess. Yes. Have you heard about the on the shoulder? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Okay, I'm learning really from this voice. Okay, I hope I can do that too. Okay, now let's move on to Ed Sheeran. Well, in my point of view, the first date would be very nervous for both of us. So I would take you to somewhere in a little bit less pressure, but still a lovely place. I'm not going to waste our time in some movie theater, obviously. Uh, so where yeah. will you bring me? <laughs> About will like you tell me some the more detail. Somewhere um, in the coastal town. Some nice you restaurant. Walking? Yeah, and we have some coffee. Okay. Some drink. Yeah. That would be lovely. Mm, thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, so what you're saying, like, uh, not the convenient, uh, I mean, not the casual dates yes. like other people are doing. Something mm -hmm. different. You mm -hmm. mentioned about coastal. Yeah. Coastal town, maybe. All right. Okay. I don't know if you love the nature or whatever. Mm. Okay, let's move on to... Hmm. Who's next? We have Patrick Otis. Hello, Christina again. <laughs> yeah. Um, what a easy question, yeah, you know, uh, on the first day, I, I believe that the best way to win somebody's heart is through their stomach, so uh, <laughs> I think I will take you go around, uh, around the Binhua City to enjoy the atmosphere in the evening, and then I will take you go somewhere to eat something, maybe your favorite fruit, perhaps, and, uh, I think the on the first day, on the first dating, it will be a little bit shy for all of us. So I will choose some private place, uh, maybe in uh, some uh, riverside food stores. Uh, nobody can disturb us, and uh, we can uh, we can share, we can talk, we can get to know each uh, each other better. After that, I can uh, take you go to the coffee shop to enjoy the delicious beverage and uh, we will have more time to be uh, together. Thank you. Ooh, all right. That's pretty nice. Uh, I hope she will not get, she will get fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you very much, uh, Patrick Otis. Uh -huh. You've heard a lot of first date ideas already. Okay, and let's move on to Leonardo DiCaprio. Again, uh, in our first date, I think 
I would take you to some quiet place for some short conversation. You know, yeah, some place we can talk and we can get know about each other. And I think the perfect place is a bookstore. Yeah, there is a street in Vietnam named Nguyễn Văn Bình Street. Yeah, uh, I think go to that. There, there would be some coffee shop or some place which we can sit down and talk to each other about our favorite, our hobbies, or what do we want to do in the future. And after that, I can take you to buy a cup of milk tea, for example. Or and finally, the most important thing, take you to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is really cool. All right, take the most important thing is take you to my heart. Ah, oh, these are cheesy lines now. <laughs> okay, thank you, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, let's welcome Thomas Shelby. Hello, beautiful. Uh, before we start our relationship, I think we we should um, talk more talk together to understand so I will take you to a coffee shop or a park where we can spend time together and talk together to more understand together before we go further in our relationship so I um, I don't want to have a have an argue with a girl so I will find any way to avoid it yes thank you <laughs> is playing safe, but I like that. I think it sounds sincere. <laughs> okay, good. And lastly, Tom Hardy. Um, hello, Krishna. Um, there's no doubt I'm shaking right now. But <laughs> that's all. That's also proof that I am a shy and ambrous man. But you know, uh, if I had a chance, then in our first. First date, I'm gonna to um, to bring you to a coffee shop where is they a uh, acoustic show, and then I will um, impress you and um, surprise you by singing you a song, even though I'm not good at singing at all. So um, yeah, that's all. You told me already, so how I surprise? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but it's really interesting. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Tom Hardy. Oh, <laughs> we are done with round two. And you know, mm, it might be a surprise for you, Christina, but we are going to make a little twist on the show. I know that they are all equally handsome. They are all equally sweet. Okay, but we have to cut. Make a cut. I'm afraid we are going to eliminate two gentlemen who you think are less... Less matching me, right? Yes, yes, they got less matching you. To you, you to have your true love. There's the red hoodie. Okay. Yes. Oh. She, she, I think she's very fair with this guy. She doesn't want...